What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. EA Sports released a surprise, really, Madden 21 trailer at the Xbox event today. And I will say, I do have some concerns, and I had some concerns, about the upgrade that they're letting you do going from one console generation to the next. Because generally speaking, last time we went through a console generation, really in 06, the games were not the same. So that makes me wonder if the games are going to be the same this year, like a direct port, whereas back in 406, you thought they were going to clean code. Pat Mahomes comes out, introduces this. We really just get a single snippet of gameplay. And to be completely honest, there's not a lot that we can take from this. I will say, if in fact they have changed the jerseys to where the uniforms are more tight fitting, especially around the shoulders, that's a great thing. Uh, I know a lot of people have talked about the tackle animation being reused. It does appear that this animation is in the game. Fair point. Games are going to have animations. Uh, as far as people that are questioning the graphic detail of the game, I don't know how much we can tell from a trailer. You know, we really just don't know. I will say, if nothing else, I commend EA again for using gameplay that was captured from a console to show this. I think at least, if nothing else, that shows they learned from Madden 06. And I do want to point out, when Pat Mahomes came out to introduce this, you know, he talked about a game that he has grown up with, and I think there's a very valid point there that gets overlooked a lot of times. You have gamers right now that may not know that the original Madden Next Gen concept never actually came to even the consoles we have now, and we were essentially just sold a CGI trailer. So with that said, what is supposed to be that game, I still don't see reflected here uh, in terms of that level of graphics. Uh, I will also say that the mechanic that they may be looking to show here as far as reaching out for the pylon should have been something in games a long time ago. You know, we've talked about it being in Backbreaker, and I think if you go back and look at what they did with the trailer, which is basically put a whole bunch of Maddens together to show you how far the game has progressed, you know, all it did for me as a fan of the, the game, as someone that's played this game for a very long time, is reiterate the player motion has been horrible, the gameplay has been lackluster, and now we're getting into a generation of consoles where they're just now looking to add a player's awareness to where he knows where the goal line is. That in of itself is a pretty stern indictment of where this game has been and where it still has yet to go. So it's fantastic that we're finally getting this put in the game, but at the same time, the fact that it took this long to get here when other games did this two console generations ago talks a lot about how much we've been missing as gamers and how much many gamers also have missed in terms of a simulation football experience as well. So I'm assuming there will be a lot more that comes out, but I do also worry about those short dev cycles and how they're going to impact this game. I also have some interesting commentary about Madden's current state and where they're going coming up later tonight. Appreciate you guys checking this out, and you know I will be back very shortly with more commentary. 